Hi and welcome to this new review of Tales from the Crypt Season 2 Episode 4 Till Death. This is a story. Basically, an ambitious and unscrupulous landowner, Logan Andrews, wants to open a luxurious hotel in a plot of land he's bought. The problem is the land, which was taken from the native trap initially. The land will swallow everything in the quicksands. So Logan decides to woo Margaret, a snobbish and conceited millionaire who could invest in the building of the hotel. As she rejects him, Logan goes to Psyche, with whom he probably used to have a relationship of interest, and she eventually gives him a kind of love potion to get Margaret. One drinking and she will fall in love, two drinkings and she will be his for life. He tries once and finally gets her to drink twice. She soon gets a desperate obsession with for him. She desperately loves him. Helpless, he just pretty soon witnesses her death. And that's when it becomes tinged with a zombie movie ambience and becomes supernatural as she comes back from her grave, becoming more and more disgusting, running and still loving him to death. Um, it picks its elements from Asian voodoo, its cult worship, its magical rites, black magic, and also elements from the harmful nature of man, as always, as most of the time in Tales from the Crypt. And here the harmful nature of man is taking advantage of people, using people, manipulating people. So Margaret gets back cuts the head of Logan's partner and she just won't stop and she can't be killed. So this is the punishment of the boorish young hustler as she she calls him. To me this episode is great because it reframes the idea of love potion or it breaks this kind of fantasy. This means that looks so amazing to get the one you really love it's fantasy, but in fact this would be horrible, horrible as your lover would be desperately glued to you. And forever. Logan would rather commit suicide pretty soon, drinking poison this time. So you drink for getting love, and you drink for killing yourself. What makes it worse is being eternally harassed by someone whose traits are unbearable. This is a heavy cross to carry, all in all, the love potion. And another theme which is at the core of the episode is voodoo. I think it's the first... No, there is the episode only seen deep with some kind of voodoo rite. To steal the beauty here, again, some voodoo stands. And the historical background is is relevant. It's all about the white taking advantage of the black culture, stealing one's land too. But you can't erase the culture, the cults. Voodoo is still unknown, you know. People have a biased representation of voodoo even today, but this religion, if you read about it, is rather seen as an experience that ties bo both bodies and soul. That's what I've read. The tying of the body and soul all together. This tying of souls is present in the episode, by the way. And moreover, I read that there was also a moral code of voodoo, focusing on vices of dishonor and greed. So this is actually what's in the episode. And to me, the best line of the episode is when Margaret rejects Logan and says, Over my dead body, good riddance. Because th this is a great ironical spirit of the series here again. Her dead body will follow him ever after and there will be no riddance for Logan. This reversal is ironical, ironical and typical of Tales from the Crypt. Those puns, they are the essence of the show. I like the makeups. We can see Maggie's face rotting more and more. 
to the point of the final gross skull and tongue with a disgusting kiss of death. So till death, another biter gets bitten kind of episode, just like lover come back to me, where a man married a woman to get her money. It's similar, but he ends up suffering till death, and actually even more, and after death, as the voodoo priestess gets him back to life to endure more horror, and we don't feel sorry for this jackass. So thanks for watching. Till death, great episode.